This video took way longer than I had planned to put together, but I am finally sitting down to film my first thrift haul of the fall season. Let me know in the comments what the thrift stores are like by you at this time of year. And I don't know if it's just the time of the year or just my stores or what was going on, but I have been to multiple thrift stores over the past week and a half and a couple yard sales and the selection has been abysmal. There hasn't been hardly anything that has really caught my eye or that I have deemed worthy of coming into my home. I don't know if it's also a mix of me being more selective because I have decluttered so much in our home. I really only wanna bring things in that I know I'm going to use or I have a specific place to use it. So that discerning eye definitely played into it, but this is a collection of items that are from multiple different sources because I would go, I would pick up maybe one or two things at a time and I finally feel like I have enough to kind of share with you some really lovely finds, some useful practical things, and just what caught my eye. All right, one of the first very fallish things that I found was this pair of pillows. They are kind of small. They're maybe about a one by one foot square, but I just thought they were adorable for the fall time. Of course, the colors are perfect. They were half off, so for the pair, I paid $3. And I love the print. It's sort of like a block print, but it is obviously embroidered and I love the plaid. I honestly couldn't even tell you what this fruit is. It kind of looks like strawberries to me, but they're brown and orange. So maybe they're carrots, maybe they're acorns. I can't really tell, but either way, the coloring is perfect and they are so sweet. And because it is a pair, I'm thinking of putting them on our slip covered chairs that are in our dining room. I think that would be really cute for the fall season. At a town-wide rummage sale, which again was town-wide and I picked up like one or two things. It was very bleak. So this was actually the very first thing that I bought that day. And it was something that I honestly was Googling and searching for literally maybe a week before I found it. I was looking for specifically this style of vintage looking chalkboard because we're doing preschool at home this year just for practicing letters and different things. And this was exactly to the T what I was hoping to find something with the letters on it and then maybe something on the sides if you know, that would be like an added bonus so this was serendipitous that i found it it was the very first thing i saw and it was only a dollar i've mentioned in some previous videos that we've been doing a lot more sewing in our house just having fun playing around with sewing projects and so i saw this little tufted pin cushion it was 50 cents so i kind of thought that was perfect to keep our needles all in one place and our pins because they definitely can get scattered around the house so this was really cute and perfect for that something we added to the exterior of our home this year was a mud kitchen for our kids to play in it's just a collection of some wooden tables and some bins and then a bunch of thrifted pieces that I have been collecting over the summer and then I just found a bunch of them kind of over these past few thrifting trips. So one is just this wooden bowl. It was $2.99 but we've found a few things that have actually cracked because we just leave it outside. Obviously it gets muddy, it gets wet and it's been getting kind of chilly overnight. So I've been really looking for solid, heavy duty wooden things to hopefully hold up to all of those elements. But then here are, oh, hopefully it doesn't slide, a few more things that I have found at thrift stores and yard sales for their mud kitchen. So I found this really cute teapot. It does come with a lid. And all of these things were maybe $3 or less, but have added hours of entertainment for my children. I found these brown bowls. They're definitely vintage and I found a set of two of those and again just the material that they're made of. It's kind of like a really hard plastic and I thought they would blend in nicely in the outdoors. This was just a little Ikea planter and this was actually free at a yard sale and they had like a bunch of leftovers that were free and then a little it's not really a muffin tin it's i don't even know what maybe for muffin tops but just cute for them to make their little mud 
foods and things that they bake in the sun for their mud kitchen. For more outside fun, I found a container of sidewalk chalk. It is basically full. I think it's missing maybe two or two have been used. So they're still in there. They're just shorter than the others. And that was only $1.99, which is probably not far off what you'd pay full price, but a little bit of a discount and we will definitely use this all up this fall. Sticking with this sort of schooling uh, theme, I found this adorable box. It was at a thrift store, but it was kind of like a mix of thrift and consignment. So the prices were a little bit higher. Things were a little more displayed, but a super cute store nonetheless. And this was $6. I don't know, my daughter has a little creation in there. I don't know if it's handmade because it definitely kind of has the look of it. There is no marking on the bottom. So I don't know if it's just made to look like it's been handmade or if it really was but absolutely love the really cute letters on it. And then it has a little bit of some like sponge painting on the side. So it could be new. It's probably not terribly old. Either way, I think it's adorable. And because we do our preschooling for the most part at our dining room table, I just like things to kind of blend in with the rest of our home and not be, you know, the super bright colors and things like that. It just, you know, would stand out more in our dining room that we use also for entertaining and everything like that. So I thought this was perfect and the size of it was perfect for some pencils and colored pencils. So I found this bag of basically brand new colored pencils. It was 69 cents and they are going to fit perfectly. I'll take them out of the bag, but they'll fit perfectly in here. And this we can just keep on top of our little china cabinet and pull down when we need to do schooling and put it away and it can stay out and just blend in with the rest of the home. And lastly, on the schooling theme, I found this brand new pack of kindergarten writing paper and it's just the lined paper. And I like this kind of paper better. This is like regular printer paper versus we have one that is from probably the dollar store and the paper is more of that sort of soft kind of off-white paper and the pencil just doesn't show up as darkly as dark on it versus paper like this and I just think you know my son has to like apply extra pressure to even see the pencil lines so this will be even better for him and it was $1.99. I found a couple of baskets because this wouldn't be my thrift haul without a basket. I feel like I thrift them in every video. This was I think $5.99 maybe it was on sale but just a lovely dark wood toned handled basket. And I've actually been keeping this in our dining room also layered on top of the basket that I do hold most of the preschool at home things in. And I've just been putting this on top and it's just an extra spot to put, you know, pages that we're working on or extra books that we're reading for different units that aren't something that we're having for the whole year. It's just whatever we're working on at that time. So it's kind of perfect for that, but of course it could be used for just about anything. And then I found this basket, which is very large. It's probably not gonna fit oh, in this shot. It's maybe, I don't know, a foot and a half across by one foot, but I love that it had a handle on it. I just think that was such a cute touch and it could be great to obviously store things in and, and be easily pulled in and out. I thought about using it in our pantry, which I'm still playing around with because I really wanna do some better organizing in there. But in the meantime, again, it could be used for so many different things. All right, so I have three more things. The two, the last two are actually some clothing items for me, which is exciting because I actually went, one of the thrifting trips, I went alone, which is pretty much the only time I look through clothing for myself. And it was only 250. So I really like it. Just a long sleeve top, perfect for fall and winter. And I looked at the tag, which I just am always curious about. If you look at the inside tag on the bottom, it'll tell you when it was from on this tiny tag. And this is fall of 20. So it's only a couple years old, but it looks to be in perfect shape. No stains or anything. I think it'll be lovely. And then I, as I was going to the checkout, saw these matte rain boots, which I have been wanting for years. I actually 
got a pair that look just like this, but they're the shiny rain boot. And I think I got them at the swap last year maybe. And I've used them a few times, but ultimately I always wanted a matte pair. I just think it's a little more subtle. It just blends better. And these were $9.99, but they were 25% off. So whatever that kind of equates to. And I just think that they're so cute. It has like faux stitching on it, which I think is really cute because obviously they are rubber. There's no actual, you know, threading on it, but they, the attention to detail is very cute. They're just Morona. So they're old Target. I don't even think, does Target do Morona anymore? I don't think they do, but they look to be in like perfect condition. Cause really how often do you wear these? So I'm excited to add these to my closet. I'm going to redonate the shiny ones I have and get a lot of use out of these. So the last item is actually what I am sitting in right now. And this was not from any yard sale. This was off of Marketplace. I have been looking for a new chair, very similar to this, for a few months now because we actually got rid of our old cane back chair that we used to have in our living room because it broke and that I had to unfortunately get rid of. The fixing it was kind of beyond my skill level. So I was so excited to find this after months of searching for a cane back chair like this, I finally found one. And I am in the process of trying to get the seat reupholstered or trying to find what fabric I want to use and who can do it for me because I don't really think I am at that level yet to do piping and stuff like that. So I am trying to find out how I can get it reupholstered, but I'm so excited to have the chair and bring it into our living room and kind of get that space refreshed as well. So that was everything that I found. Again, it was a little here, a little there, but ultimately just things that I think are really going to be useful and beautiful in our home. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe. I have done so many thrift hauls. I can link to one of those for you if you wanna check out another one. But otherwise, I'll be talking to you guys very soon. Take care, bye.